Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Gecko. Another day, another video for you guys. I apologize I haven't uploaded anything in the past few days. With this long stream and a bunch of work and a bunch of stuff that I had going on, life got ahead of me and now I have to catch up. Finally caught up a little bit and decided to make a video. This one's a little bit more geared up towards beginners and how to set up your talent. This is super important to understand in order to know how to play properly because talents play a huge part in both war and growth. Basically, those are the two types of setups you should always have. One for war, both defense and offense. And the second one for growth, which is more important for the day-to-day -day growth, training, building, researching, and things like that. So the building and growing set in general has six most important talents that must be maxed out at all time in order to essentially maximize your growth set. Construction speed one and two, research one and two, and training one and two, training speed one and two really. These six talents must be maxed out in order to maximize your output for growth. Now on top of that, there are many variations to growth that you can work with. Some people prefer growth uh, with gathering and army capacity in order to be able to gather faster with less troops. Some people prefer to have a mix of both gathering and also maybe ore production or gold production or strictly gold production or strictly ore production it really doesn't matter you can make all the combinations you want but when you have a growth set that is going to be like your day-to-day -day set where you're going to sit on in order to build to research to gain resources to gather no matter what you have this one set and it's going to max out both all six talents i explained before construction speed one and two research one and two and training speed one and two now the offensive side is a little bit more complicated and it involves a few very important talents but these don't have really a rule of thumb i have my way of doing things but again i'll show you all the possibilities when you do offense you're looking for a couple of things number one attack number two defense and or preferably health now when you set up your talents you have these very important talents that i usually like to max out these are health and army defense. Army health and army defense. These are the two most important ones in my opinion. And of course, offensive squad in the beginning. Offensive squad gives you easy army attack. And the other four give you more defense and health. Now that doesn't leave you with that many points left. So some people when they want to have like a max range and infantry attack set. They give up a little bit on the defense. They make sure to always have army health to the max army health is probably one of the most important stats and it's so hard to get it from equipment against versus something like army defense now it is always important to know that when you're setting up your talents you must understand that they need to meet a specific purpose it's either to maximize your range attack to maximize your cavalry attack to maximize all three meaning you're going to give up a little bit on the defense and the offense and the, and the health, but you're going to have all three level three offense talents maxed out, which gives you the most damage possible for all three. Now, when you do growth, you will pretty much always have construction speed and research speed and training speed maxed out because those are the most important ones. And then you're going to play with it. You're either going to max out one resource and become a hyper. You might max out Res uh, the uh, gathering and then you'll gather quicker with less troops if you of course use um, the ar army capacity with the bigger bags I think it's called I don't remember what it's called exactly anyway the most important thing to understand is this there is no one set of talents that you should always have in my opinion I have two that are standard I have one that is research and growth in general which includes all the six that I explained and then there's the other one which is my generic attack one which has all the defense all the health it has squad uh, offense and it also involves in it a little bit of the other attack ones I won't go into too much detail I can show you on the screen right now on that 1 billion account I had how its talents are set up once your research goes up a little bit you have the ability to create talent sets and then swap them with a click which is really super super handy but if you don't have that open yet you can still do it manually it just takes a little bit of time make sure you understand how you're setting up your talents for a specific goal so you don't just set up your talents to have this forever you have one set of talents that you manually insert or just click and trade and that's it that is all about growth 
with gold construction or gold with gathering speed or gold with uh, growth and a little bit of ore or a mix of everything but you need to know what the purpose of it is and the same concept when you're attacking when you have an offense one if you know you want to have more defense than offense you want to take hits then you're going to maximize your army defenses everywhere you can it's just a matter of figuring out what exactly you want out of your talents make sure you read every talent and also if you're going to do anything to maximize output make sure you go all the way down on the tree to the level three researches and max those out first why because if you look the first research has let's say 10 spaces and it gets you all the way up to 30 percent the second one maybe has 15 or 20 levels and if you look the first 10 take you to 30 and then it takes you maybe to another 40. the last one at the bottom the talents number threes are all 50 and they give you as much percentage as possible so it's more worth for you to get the third one to level like 40 then getting the first one and second one maxed out and then after that do another five points somewhere else so keep that in mind that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about talents explaining a little bit what are the important ones to know about you gotta understand that whatever you do with talents you have to have a goal so first of all figure out what your goal is what you're gonna do with these talents and then from there on out you need to figure out how to set them up based on what you read and based on your understanding of what you own. Unfortunately, there is no golden rule of thumb because anyone who has certain gear that is better than other gear is might want to complement their gear with less talents towards where the gear already covers that, like army defense, for example, or cavalry offense. If you have like 400% cavalry offense set, then why would you add another I don't know 400% from talents if you can you know maybe get 200 200 on the other two and get to a mixed good level so it's really up to you that's all I have for you guys today thank you very much for watching I hope to come with new videos very very soon I will most likely stream the kingdom versus kingdom the new kingdom versus kingdom if you haven't seen it yet it's a three-way kingdom versus kingdom so it's gonna be very very cool I think it's this Saturday if I'm not mistaken it's this Saturday and when I do I will let you guys know that I'm on live and streaming. I'll stream for a little bit, maybe a few hours. I don't know yet. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. More content coming up next week. I have a lot of cool videos planned out. I just need to really get to sit down and edit them properly. I'm not going to just release something not done well done, at least for you guys. So yeah, thank you again and see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.